So cooking can be a lot, from cutting onions without crying, to cooking chicken without getting food poisoning, to following your mom's WhatsApp recipes. So the last thing you wanna think about is buying the things to help you cook. I can tell you from my experience that you actually don't need that much to get started with, and you definitely don't have to spend a lot of money either. So in today's video, I'll share my 10 kitchen essentials to cook basically any type of Indian food, and all for under $200. So level one are just the essentials, the bare minimum of things you need to get started with cooking. So here's one kitchen tool loved by chefs and horror movie villains alike, a good chef's knife. And I know the one here <laughs> looks pretty daunting, but this is actually much easier to use than you might think. It's big size, makes chopping faster, you can easily pick up ingredients, and you actually don't need to use as much pressure than say with this little guy. And next, a good old chopping board. Of course, you'll use this to cut veggies or meat, but it can also do so much more than that. It can double as a makeshift storage space for ingredients, a resting spot for your utensils. The one that I'm actually showing here is not my favorite, but generally with anything on this list, you can't go wrong with my second home, Ikea. Next, you might call this a kadai or a wok or a sassier, but basically just a pan or a pot with angled sides. Besides working like for your everyday essentials like eggs or, I don't know, pancakes, these angled sides come in clutch when you're making Indian dishes because it'll hold all that flavor when you're making curries and it'll give enough surface area for something like a vegetable fry. My OG was from Ikea. I told you I love Ikea, which served me very well after college, um, but now I've switched to this stainless steel pot but I'll, I'll have to let you know how much I like it after I do the dishes. This is my latest kitchen discovery, the silicone spatula. It's great, uh, it doesn't scratch your nonstick pans, it's easy to clean and it's flexible to fit into all the curves of your cookware. If you want more options, check out these affordable plastic ones from Ikea or something a little bit more rustic like these wooden ones. Now, level two is all about leveling up your gear and making it a little bit more versatile for a range of dishes. And first, a relic from my postgrad days, the Instant Pot. If you're anything like me and you're terrified of those you know, those traditional pressure cookers that your parents might have? You know, the one that used to wake you up every single Sunday morning with the whistle? Well, then try this instead. The Instant Pot is probably the most versatile appliance. You can make basically any Indian staple from dal to pongal to rice and even yogurt. And the best part is that for most of these recipes, you just dump the ingredients in, watch your favorite Indian movie, and you're good to go. Next is a rice cooker. I frankly don't really know how to cook rice without one because it's just that ingrained into my life. It's really cheap, it's really easy to use, just press one button. And if you've seen TikTok, there's hundreds of other recipes that you can make with just a rice cooker. Now, third in our lineup are bowls <laughs> for, excuse my French, mise en point, mise en point. So rather than prepping ingredients as you go, which can become very chaotic, I'd recommend using bowls to organize your ingredients as you prep. So the cooking is much less stressful when you're in the heat of it. So I didn't discover these until recently, but they've really been game changers. The first is a thermometer, and I've actually never loved cooking meat because I can never tell when it's done, but now with a thermometer, I don't have to think because it'll just tell me when the food is done. The next is a microplane. I mostly use this to make ginger garlic paste, and before I'd actually just buy that from the store pre-made, but since moving to New York, there just isn't an Indian store nearby. So instead, when I cook, I'll just grate a little bit of ginger on one side, garlic on the other, and also, if you're looking for some thrill, it's always an exciting game of trying to avoid slicing your finger off. Now the last item, which actually I don't have, but I desperately need, is a knife sharpener. It sounds counterintuitive, but actually a sharp knife is much less scary than a dull knife because it means that you can actually use less pressure when you're cutting something. I used to have this one from Amazon, but I donated it to my parents, but I might just have to steal it back. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna link all the different tools and gadgets that I mentioned down below the description. Uh, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this about Indian cooking, and I'll see you in the next one.